Please make that happen. Thank you. All right, cool. Do I tweet it out that I'm live again? Probably, and eh, whatever. The corporation wants me dead. Too bad I'm living. Too bad I'm living. What does this mean? And then I'll go youtube.com slash braveglass. What does this mean? We're live. YouTube.com slash breakfast. Cool. Anyway. What's up, everybody? <laughs> uh, no special guests today. We're having just another normal stream. Been a little bit since we have, but we've been getting a lot of a lot of views uh, recently and a lot of subscribers, which is putting a flame under my feet to uh, try and make that YouTube video that I have been wanting to make for a while. Uh, so I'm going to get back to work on that, <laughs> or I've been trying to at least. It's a little tough. It's a little tough, but we'll do it. Thunder Peak, welcome to the chat room, man. Any VOD watchers uh, just tuning in, I'll remind you again in about 10 minutes, hopefully, but I uh, hope you'll subscribe. Would you please hit the subscribe button? Question mark. Let's bring... Oh, oops. <laughs> I forgot to clear all this stuff off. <laughs> and that party last week was crazy, huh? <laughs> Okay, these are two sans faces with very low opacity. This is that. I need to get rid of the <laughs> set. Get rid of the guest list. Uh, what is this? Yeah. Okay, well we can keep spinning Tia because we've we we keep that. We'll keep that there. Made it to Marie's dungeon. Now you're fighting her. Right on, man. Uh, let me get rid of Rio. There. There we are. Cool. Now everything's cleaned up. <laughs> Man, that party last week was crazy. If anyone didn't see that cool video. Just happy birthday, Brave Glass. The whole stream was <laughs> pretty funny in my opinion, but... Anyway, uh, today we are starting off at level 86 with 43,543 experience to go. So uh, what level are you now? Don't worry, man. I always, I always get you at the start of every stream, or at least I try to remember <laughs> to say level 80, like what level. But yeah, level 86, 45,000 experience to go. So, no, we're probably, we're definitely not going to level up today, but... You know, got to keep pumping out content, <laughs> and by content I mean the same dungeon for many months. <laughs> uh, but I, I, I am working. I am working on a new video. I promise. I promise. I am. It's just that I'm also working on a bunch of other things for hobbies. <laughs> I have to design a D and D character, dude. I have to design a monk of the long death. <laughs> I'm also running my own campaign. <laughs> but, you know. This is something that I will never forget about. And I will always be doing this. So, <laughs> until it is done. We're grinding. And that's a promise. <laughs> but also work has been kicking my butt. 
Uh, they signed me, they scheduled me for 36 hours next week, or this next week, but, uh, which is weird, because I only signed up for 25 to 30 hours a week, so I'm going to have to talk to our union representative, <laughs> or someone, <laughs> but I will not say the name of the corporation that I work for, because I don't want to have the off chance of getting fired, even though nobody knows who I am. <laughs> but if I stop working there, I will tell you the name of that corporation and openly complain. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Why isn't this playing, YouTube? Shall I refresh the page for you? Yes. All right, there we go. But yeah, how's everybody else? How's everybody else's weeks going? Mine is fine, but it's going to be hell unless I can <laughs> speak to someone next week. But whatever, we'll get through everything. We'll get through literally everything. If I can, if I can get to level ninety nine in the Ukiyo's castle, what can I not do? What things can I not do? You know. So how's everybody else? <laughs> okay, sorry. Pretty smooth. Pretty smooth jams dot com. <laughs> Quote. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> I miss Giga already. <laughs> <It's> okay, <sorry. laughs> but I cannot have every stream be like that. I think that's probably fine levels. I feel like I have not seen a shadow. Why are there no shadows? <laughs> that's weird. Oh, here we go. Gold shadow. actually play some Sokai Gi music right now because it's been a long time since I've listened to it uh absolute lady for sure absolute lady or energy energy is pretty good I feel like I need... That's probably fine. I don't know, it's been a while since I streamed, it feels like, so... Uh... Gonna probably be messing around with levels and stuff a lot. That's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, someone, <laughs> a girl that I work with said that I reminded her of L from Death Note, and I really, really want to leave. <laughs> I really, really want to leave my workplace after hearing that. <laughs> Y'all see the new JJK Zero movie. Don't know what that acronym stands for. I hope it's not something to do with JoJo's. Because the answer would be very much so no. <laughs> I'm not taking any of that, but... Is that THE Brave Glass? It is! It's THE Myth Legend too. Welcome to the chat room, Myth Legend and Furcon Subglom. Sorry that I forgot. Jujutsu Kaisen. Zero. Okay. No, I didn't see that either. That's <laughs> a... What is your favorite boss in the Persona series? Oh, hello, best gamer first. <laughs> Yo, the first best gamer is now in the chat room? That's insane. But, uh, answer your question, Thunderpeak. 
Who is my favorite boss? Honestly, Adachi? Adachi's pretty good. Um... Adachi's pretty good. <laughs> uh... The end of Persona 5 Royal is obviously a really good one. I forget his name currently. I don't know why I forget his name currently, but obviously that's a really good one. I haven't played it myself though, because I refuse to play the entirety of Persona 5 again just so that I can <laughs> play that one semester. <laughs> He's not the best gamer ever, just the first person to be the best gamer. I mean, that's that's already pretty good. Yeah, Maruki. Maruki's pretty cool. <laughs> but, man, what a legacy. I can't believe a celebrity stopped by my stream today. I played Vanilla and Royal. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I don't like Persona 5 base enough to do that. <laughs> it's good, I just don't want to do that. That's <laughs> okay. Persona 5 has a catchy, the best character ever. I don't know if I would say that. And I don't know if you would say that either. I know you would say that you're very much so like a catchy, which, fair. We all see it. But, uh. That's <laughs> okay. I don't think you even would say he's the best. Stuck on Shido for a while? Oh yeah, well in terms of hardest boss fights... The Velvet Room attendants are really annoying. <laughs> Which actually, you know what? Elizabeth is a really really cool fight, even though she's very annoying. And stupid. And I hate her. But, cool idea for a fight. She's a good character, I should clarify. She's not annoying and stupid as a character. She's just, uh, what a fight, man. That's <laughs> okay. Velvet Room Attendant in Persona 4 Royal, 5 Royal is annoying? Yeah. Most Velvet Rooms are pretty bad. Most Velvet Room Attendants are very annoying. Beat Caroline and Justine at level 44. <laughs> that was difficult. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hit the shadow, Narukami. Hit it. <laughs> You can beat Justine without a guide for your first time. I don't know. I can't. You can't beat Justine without a guide. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess you would have to know what she does, yeah. But JRPG players are pretty infamous for over-preparing, so I think there's gotta be somebody out there that can first try it. <laughs> Utaba or Rise as better navigator or waifu? Hot take Fuka. <laughs> Hot take Fuka is way better than both of those. Hot take. <laughs> Probably beat the twins first try without a guide if you have a decent setup. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Jerpy G players. Yeah, Fuka is, Fuka is the GOAT for sure. She is. Yeah, everybody hates or hated Fuka, but she's the GOAT for sure. That's <laughs> okay. She's my navigator. That's <laughs> okay. She has four phases. 
First phase, you need to hit all the weaknesses. Second phase, you need to technical. Third phase, you need to crit. Well, yeah. I, mean, I guess. But if you don't have hit or weakness crit technical every turn, you lose instantly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Favorite summoning method? Obviously the evoker. For me, it's obviously the evoker. <laughs> like, the card is like, I think the card gets a bad rap because everybody is like, oh, the other ones are painful and edgy, but then you just crush a card. But it is like a glass card and crushing glass in your hand is cool. And I think that is like cool and painful and interesting, but Evoker is so much better than all of those. Like, <laughs> Evoker clearly has uh, so much more, like, symbolism to, to me. It, that's how it feels. Like, Evoker is the one that was tonally the best. Uh, I feel like the mask is... Persona 5, taking the mask off could be cool if Persona 5 was a lot cooler. <laughs> like, people were theorizing when Persona 5 was announced that you were gonna fight with your shadows, which would be sick. <laughs> that would be dope. If you had to take off the mask and fight with your shadow, that would be cool. <laughs> and very symbolic. But I think Evoker still takes it. That's also ignoring the fact that you have to deal with your inner demons in order to be able to get the glass breaking powers. Yeah. For real. Also, welcome to the chat room, Ultimate Hedgehog. But yeah, if Persona 5 had, like, actually did that idea where, like, the good guys aren't really, like, like, they're kind of bad guys, that would be sick. That would be dope. Unfortunately, the <laughs> there's like no question that the Phantom Thieves are pretty good. <laughs> I mean, there is, but it's like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I prefer the Evoker as well, except in some death and you don't need to deal with a shadow. Yeah. Evoker. I came here for the sole fact that it's related to my second favorite character in Persona 4, Yukiko. I also like Yukiko. But who's your first favorite character? Persona 6 will have you kicking tennis balls to summon your Persona, Atlas told me? What the heck? We got an Atlas leak? That's <laughs> a- That would be Chie. I see. For me, ironically, Yunarikami is my favorite. <laughs> I think this dude is the coolest. <laughs> Go on with the whole morally gray thief thing. Yeah, I want it to be less like... I, I don't know. I've already said so much about Persona 5 and how I feel about it. And I don't want to just dump on it. Because I know it's a lot of people's favorite games, but for real, like, the whole thing of, uh, everything being, um, I don't know. Like, they, I feel like they constantly tease the idea of, like, morally gray stuff and, like, are we actually the heroes? But then they just do Okumura arc. And Okumura arc is like, we shouldn't do it for the fame, and that's like not the lesson they needed to learn. <laughs> what do you think the evoker summoning style means? Circling around the eye. I hate adult stuff. Yeah, that also is just kind of weak to me, but whatever. <laughs> 
Yeah, evoker symbolism is is really quite in your face about it. As for Consiglum notes, uh, it is pretty on the nose. It's just like coming to terms with like being willing to die. And it's it's cool because like if you look at what happens to people when they use the evoker, their eyes glaze over. And so it's like you kind of like shut your brain off with it. And so it's like you actually like face death in that moment. And and so it makes more sense to me cuz like the in-universe explanation was that when you use your SP, you're like Men like it's mentally draining to use your persona it, like it actually wears on you which I think makes more sense if you experience the stress of like you're gonna die <laughs> really what the evoker has over other ones is if one of your ally kicks the bucket you can grab their evoker and give it to someone who you trust I've never thought about that but it is cool. Yeah, and also with evokers, people can use their personas outside of, like, just the shadow world, I think. So, it's actually sick. I, well, I think, I mean, you need to have the potential. You need to have the potential in Persona 3, is what they called it. So, you can't just give anybody an evoker, but, you know. On your first playthrough of Persona 4, who did you think was the culprit? Uh... I don't know if I... Well, on my first playthrough, I had already seen the game played through, so... <laughs> I, like, knew who it was, but... I don't think there was ever really a question... ...that it wasn't Adachi. Like, if it... When the question arose of, like, who do we know that could have done it, it's... ...gotta be Adachi. Arsene literally is a catch, he says, that's his persona because he's, he knows he's no knight in shining armor or something like that. Just take that for, for everybody in the whole game. Yeah, I think, uh, for sure, uh, I don't know, Persona 5, like, teased this idea that, like, they're not, like, morally 100% incorrect in the right like they're tricksters and they're these rebels and blah 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 and they're like they're even taking their own enforcing of will on other people and doing that and they kind of don't really address that except in persona 5 royal but even in persona 5 royals third semester i feel like it's like they're trying to create a difference between the Phantom Thieves and Maruki when they should just say like, hey, straight up the Phantom Thieves are like Maruki. <laughs> you can just be explicit with it. <laughs> like, that's a thing where you can show that and tell it. <laughs> Favorite Persona villain besides Adachi? Like every villain in Persona 3. Combined, all of them. <laughs> I don't know, Persona 3 is so good. <laughs> Persona 5 teased it for like 7 seconds before portraying them to be the heroes. Yeah, I mean, like, all of their opponents are, like, molesters and abusers, so it's like, it's a good time. What are you, like, what are you really gonna, what kind of, like, subtle conversation are we gonna have here? <laughs> There's not a lot of room, not a lot of leg space in that discussion. <laughs> Unless you want to be like, mm, maybe abusing children is a good thing. <laughs> Do 
Use it for example. Persona 4 can go... You can go hammer mode and not go punished. I mean... Mechanically speaking, there's no real punishment in any of the games. Persona 3 only had a harem route, basically. <laughs> okay, thank you, Gold Shadow. Love that. But I know what you mean. Even then, though, there's still, like, guilt is the real punishment. <laughs> Which happens. I feel like those people that want to discipline both their parents and the misbehaving kids. I love Maruki, probably one of my favorite characters in any series ever, but it could have been so much better with a Phantom Dudes. Like yeah, I don't know. Thief and me in Persona 5 was originally supposed to be a Phantom Thief, and I wish she still was. More than anything. <laughs> That's a good time. <laughs> Listen, I like Makoto, but I would have traded Makoto for E for me. TBH. <laughs> to be honest. If I could have gotten more He for me, I would have traded a lot of the Phantom Thieves for her. <laughs> That's a good time. <laughs> I'd like to have that ugly looking teacher from Persona 4. You mean the Joker? The Joker lady? <laughs> the lady with the Joker makeup that talks about her <laughs> divorce or whatever? Or her husband? How dare you go to his queen? I dislike even his design. What the heck? I was not expecting to be attacked for this. <laughs> I, I was expecting that take to go over pretty decently. <laughs> I did not think that was that hot of a take. Although Makoto is literally queen. <laughs> Koto is the most popular character from Persona 5 in the West? I don't know. I don't know. I guess that's true. My grape with the P5 female teammates is that they feel like you're friends due to circumstance and nothing else. Like they hate you in the guts of the other guys. I don't think that's true. I mean, I feel like, I don't know. To be honest, that's just like every character. I feel like Haru and Ryuji are the only ones that are like amicable. <laughs> like even Yusuke is like, I don't like you. I'm better than everyone. So, I don't know. I, I think it has to be that way just because of the way that they set up Persona 5 where you're like an outcast. Yusuke is a weird guy with unique levels of passion. No, well, I mean, when do you remember how you, like, meet Yusuke, though? <laughs> like, he was, he did not want to be your guys' friends, that for sure, that's for sure. <laughs> that's how I got that. Yeah, the Persona 5 cast is inherently a bunch of edgy teenagers that are, like, not very amicable people. <laughs> that's how I got that. They butt heads a lot, but, you know. But I think that's fine. I don't think that's, like... 
I don't think you lose any points for being friends just because of circumstance. In fact, I think that can be really well done in a lot of places. Why do I prefer Fuka over Risa and Futaba? Um, if I'm being honest, I don't actually remember much of any of those characters' social links. <laughs> but I do... I think Fuka is... I don't know, Persona 3 is really compelling, and I think Fuka, although I understand why people consider her boring, I find subtle characters like that very appealing. I just find Fuka more subtle than Risei and Futaba. Like, Risei and Futaba is like... I mean, those are two very loud... Not loud personalities, but like... Standout personalities. Like, Risei is very clearly like... Poppy, sunshine, idol girl. Whoa, I love Senpai. And then Futaba is... I'm a gamer. Mm, your princess is in another castle, gamer bruh. Uh, game over, dude. I'm. Uh, you, don't make me angry. You look like just enough XP. I'm close to leveling up. You know. <laughs> and then Fuka is like normal. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> also, I want you guys to look up. I want you guys to look up Fuka's uh, redesign in Persona 4 Arena. Actually, the best. <laughs> Actually, so good. Her design in Arena is flames. <laughs> what the hell happened with Anne's arc? The, like, the whole arc in the first palace, and then literally the next palace she gets used. Yeah! Yeah! That one was actually very annoying. <laughs> I hated that. But Persona 4 also has a lot of tone deaf stuff. <laughs> and yes, Anne is irrelevant after the first palace. <laughs> I will never forget the moment that Joseph Anderson, when you're in the velvet room and you're looking at all the oh, group crying time. Represent. Everybody find a buddy to, in chat to cry with. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, when Joseph Anderson was, like, in the Velvet Room and you're examining all the cells with all the fandom these in him, and then he's, like... And then he literally forgets that On exists at all. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> From day, save place. Whatever, I don't know the lyrics. <laughs> Hate this OST, it always makes me sad. I love this OST, it always makes me... Not even sad, I don't even know what the word is. It, it makes me feel powerful. But also sad. Sad, but powerful. <laughs> Can you blame him though? No. I definitely think On is super forgettable, <laughs> and like, not to any fault of her own, just wow. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> like, at least Ryuji got a moment where he, like, risked his life for all of you guys. <laughs> like, Ryuji has his hero moment. On is like, whatever. <laughs> On's a social link literally makes you care about Shiho way more than On. <laughs> Playing the new Lego Star Wars game? Welcome to chat room Friday am. And also, Poggies. Pog Champions. I love Lego Star Wars. Ryuji just saves everyone lives just to get beaten for no reason. Yes, I hate anime women. I hate them. <laughs> that scene made me hate anime women. Not real women, because real women wouldn't do that, I would hope. 
<laughs> I would hope real woman would never do that to Ryuji after they saved his life. But anime women? Can't trust them. Can't trust them as far as you can throw them. I am an anime misogynist. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not a good thing to say on camera. <laughs> Yusuke jumped in as well? Is that true? I'm very disappointed in my boy Yusuke. I love to use guy. I love use guy. Why would he do that? That's <laughs> I got that. Remember what I was doing on social link and I just picked the answers I thought would get me musical notes next time. Next time. Next thing I know I'm making out with her. <laughs> Is that what happened? That's <laughs> a Should be happy you went on Twitch so we can't clip it. Facts. <laughs> At some point in time, I will unlock clips, and you will be able to come back to this stream and uh, clip that. So, whoops. <laughs> Yusuke can do whatever he wants. That's kind of true. <laughs> Friday AM brings up a good point. <laughs> it is Yusuke we're talking about. Brave's favorite character from each persona, Fuka Naoto Yusuke. Interesting assessment, but wrong. Because they all have blue hair. <laughs> oh. I was wondering what the logic was, but that's not actually that interesting. Also, I forgot it's not group drawing time anymore. Oops. Have you seen how it dances in Star Knight? I have purposefully not looked at Star Knight ever, and... <laughs> kind of refused to care at all about the dancing games, but no, I haven't <laughs> to answer your question <laughs> didn't have to answer it that extreme, Brave, come on <laughs> everyone loves Kanji until they fight him in P4AU eh yeah, grapplers are annoying. <laughs> but, eh. Get good, I guess. I forget what FGC says about stuff. Pick a top tier. Just pick Mitsur in 5A, forehead. <laughs> Just peek. <laughs> if I see one more Mitsuru Auto combo, <laughs> that's how I got this. Also, how does this chat feel about uh, Mitsuru Persona 4 Arena redesign? How does this chat room feel about that? I've been gone since the start of group time, crying time, did I miss any funny stuff? You missed me call myself an anime misogynist for hating anime women. N not w not real women, because real women wouldn't have beaten up Ryuji after uh, they saved his or their lives. That's a good start. Real women wouldn't do that. But anime women would, and which is why I'm an anime misogynist. I'm just saying it multiple times, so that People have a lot of opportunities to clip whenever I unlock clips. <laughs> have you fought a Junpei player? <laughs> yeah, low tier players are always annoying, I think, <laughs> to play against. And to watch sometimes. So true, why do they do that at the best boy? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anime misogyny. <laughs> or I guess... I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> uh, 
But yeah, how does this chat feel about Mitsuru's uh, redesign in Persona 4 Arena? Because I have opinions on it, but I want to hear everybody else's opinions before I say mine. That's <laughs> okay, that's okay. For some reason, the best friend of the group always gets dunked on by the women mostly. Well, in Persona 4 it may makes sense, because... Yosuke's a dork <laughs> and kind of a bad dude sometimes. Okay, I'll pull up the Mitsu redesign. I need to save it to my computer though. Why is this a web P? Why would you ever make this a web P? What is a web P? Hello? Can I save it as a PNG and have it work still? Yes, okay. Why did you make me do it? It looks horrible. <laughs> yeah, okay. So this is Mitsuru's design in Persona 4 Arena. This is what it is. What are your guys' opinions on this redesign? <laughs> I just want I just want everybody's opinions before I give my very strong ones. <laughs> I'm gonna remove it now. I trust that you all had enough time to see and give your opinions. <laughs> Redesign was probably designed by an anime misogynist like you. I like to sit down with a group of Japanese citizens after they genuinely like guys being, being beaten up by girls in anime. <laughs> you probably like it? No! I hate it! I can't stand that design. Most of the people around me... I want the coat fur thing, I don't know about the rest honestly. Looks tight as hell. Uh, if so, no. I mean... Yeah, I hate that design. I think it is the most boring thing you could do with, with Mitsuru. Uh, ever. <laughs> Just putting her in like a skin tight black suit with a fur coat is the. It is like. It is so. It is so dorky that it can no longer even be sexy. It's like, there are so many. Be if you want to make Mitsuru sexy, I guess you can. You can have that weeb bait, whatever, don't care, right? Just if it's like a good design. This is the stupidest thing in the world. Just <laughs> a skin tight black suit with with a big white fur coat is like that's stupid to me. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so dorky. I don't know why. I feel like the I feel like the fur coat is cool. I feel like the skin tight uniform kills it. Like it doesn't like it. It's not good at that point. I feel like a fur coat is kind of cool. Like that could be good, but I don't know. They need to appeal to place and tell I guess. I don't know. I don't even know. It's like, <laughs> it's like, cause it's like not even, I feel like it's not even sexy. I don't see how people see that and think that that's, like, attractive. <laughs> like, I feel like there are sexy designs that are still good designs. You can be sexy. It's just that it's stupid. Like, it's such a dumb fit. Especially for a character like Mitsuru. Like, remember how Mitsuru was in Persona 3, and then giving her that outfit is the weirdest decision. It's so stupid.
She could have had, uh... She could have just had, like, some cool, like, professional-looking coat stuff. She looks like... I don't know, she looks like a stupid... She looks like the world's dumbest spy. Let's <laughs> get the world's dorkiest. She looks like a Spy Kids villain. If Spy Kids villains were allowed to be sex appeal. That's a cut. That's. That's. The fur coat fits, she's rich, but the skin tight suit. With like a dark red. Yeah, like she could have like a cool under. She looks. She's supposed to look professional in my mind. She does not look professional. She looks like an idiot. That's a good I got that. The skin tight suit is so corny. It's just a corny design. No one who doesn't like anime looks at her design and goes, hmm, very nice, I disagree with that. It looks vanilla. I disagree that it looks vanilla. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really... I don't know. I mean, I can kind of see where you're coming from with that. Because it, it does, it is much more like Western comic book sexy. She looks like the kind of sex appeal that you'd put on the side of a pinball machine in the 90s. You know? Does that make sense? Does anybody else see that? Where it's like, that's like not hot, but like... <laughs> Does everybody else get that vibe? <laughs> Does that make sense to anybody but me? <laughs> Maybe I'm just so used to more degenerate clothing that it looks vanilla to me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it looks like those half-naked woman posters you see in movies from the mid-2000s that revolve around young adults. Sure, yeah. Something like that. For me, definitely the image in my mind is like... The side art of a pinball machine. <laughs> It's like, I don't know, <laughs> skin tight suit, like latex that's like not hot. <laughs> I don't know why people think that, but whatever. I forget what pinball machine art would be looking like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I should. I guess I just spent a lot of time around old arcade machines. Plus over Pac-Man arcade machines in the 80s. That's I got. Well, I, know, I don't know, because it's like the comic book sexy kind of vibe. Like, you know, Wonder Woman. I guess, I don't know. People think skin tight, like latex stuff is, is sexy, which is weird to me. It's weird to me. I don't inherently have a problem with sexy designs. I just think that they should not be stupid. <laughs> should we Black Cat from Spider-Man? Yeah, but like worse somehow. <laughs> but yeah, I get that. That's kind of what I'm going for, yeah. How's the library application going? Um, I had an interview and it went pretty well from what I can tell. I was in there for like an hour and uh, yeah, we talked for like an hour and which is a great, it's good. Uh, and I, I don't know, I just got the vibes that they liked me, but I'm hoping to hear back from them this week, the remainder of this week. If not, I'll just call them and then whatever. But uh, yeah. I'm, I'm just hoping that there were no better applications than mine.
no better applicants. What would be super sick is if nobody showed up besides me, and they were like, well, we have to hire this guy, but I don't know. This is really loud compared to the other things I've listened to. <laughs> Why is Boy Meets Girl so much louder? <laughs> Sexy designs are okay-ish in my book, as long as they don't do it to major characters. Like, do it to some comic relief character, like the T-shirt. <laughs> Just undermines the actual character. Uh, sometimes. I think, uh... No, I see... Octum and Crusading look who works somewhere else. <laughs> if I knew who the other applicants were, I guess I could do that, but... As for, like, the sexy characters... I think sometimes there's like a time to make your characters kind of a little bit sexier. Specifically, I think like when they're like evil. <laughs> I think there's something about like tying evilness to like sexiness because it's kind of supposed to make it like doing evil is like kind of attractive. I feel like that's a potent way to use sexiness and character design that's just your kink it's i okay yeah all right i forgot i'm a youtuber <laughs> i forgot i'm a youtuber speaking to a chat room and they can and will bully me at any any corner <laughs> that's how I got that. like lust from full metal alchemist kind of yeah i guess I think it's not really the outfit, but more about making the characters make the outfit feel sexy. Evil sexy. <laughs> I don't know. I just, like, I think... Like, a character like Tharja from uh, Fire Emblem... I can't imagine her being moderately dressed. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> Like, like her official design being her moderately dressed is weird, because like, her being in that sexy outfit is what kind of makes her so uncomfortable. Does that make sense? Or am I weird? Am I the weird one? <laughs> I think Astarja being sexy makes me uncomfortable. And I think that is a good way to put her character forward. <laughs> I don't know. This is a weird discussion. <laughs> Thinking about what I've said and then reading the messages that come back to me through here. This is a weird discussion. <laughs> Are you guys ready to move on? <laughs> I feel like I've said my piece. <laughs> We're watching you grind to level 99 in Yugu's Castle. If anything, all of us are the weird ones. True. <laughs> Imagine sexualizing an Elgar. Yeah. Yeah, that would be weird. <laughs> but, yeah, generally, just for the, for the full statement on this, the full Brave Glass opinion, I don't like over-sexualizing characters, and I think <laughs> sexualization of characters is stupid and oftentimes gratuitous but i do think there is a space for it and uh i'm not inherently opposed to it it just needs to make sense for the character because <laughs> like that happens in real life some people are just hot <laughs> some people are just hot and they're evil <laughs> 
This is why I will never play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Yes. <laughs> I'm right there with you, bro. <laughs> I remember when that game came out, though. Uh, my brother and I stayed up till like five in the morning. This is actually so Brave Glass lore. This is such Brave Glass lore. But my brother and I did spend like five, like a million, like too many hours. Uh, grinding on the same day to get enough money in the first area to buy that like first expensive blade that you could get just <laughs> like you could buy a blade it was that character that's like in the bathtub or whatever and then after that we never touched the game <laughs> we dived for a bunch of hours and then never touched the game again <laughs> I don't know if this is weird, but character in like full plate armor covering their whole, whole body is just extremely hot. That is a little weird. <laughs> but I guess I get you. I guess I get you. I feel like if you want to make a character sexy, it should be like a Jessica Rabbit or Lola Bunny type of way. That is, those are like the worst two examples you could have given i feel <laughs> i feel i feel like i don't want either of those characters at all <laughs> but maybe that's just me also one of those is a rabbit <laughs> Actually, both of those are rabbits. <laughs> but one of them is like... Just the animal. <laughs> really, I just wanted your reaction from it. <laughs> oh, I see. Welcome to the chat room, Board Choco. Uh, now that there's a new chat member, can we please talk about something else? <laughs> we have to make a good impression. <laughs> Waiting for the day Japanese developers oversexualize male character. Ah. Ah. I feel like male sexualization is weird because you can make a dude shirtless and everyone will be okay with it, even though I feel like that is what that is. I don't know. Wondering what the rabbit talk was about. We're talking about over-sexualizing characters in media. <laughs> City of Gold is getting a little loony right now. Sorry, Chad had to bring this up. Check DMs. Hold on. Oh. I am literally... <laughs> streaming. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Hold on, I'm sorry. Uh, enjoy the enjoy the jams. I'll be right back.
All right, and I'm back. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot that I had to do that today. <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys heard uh, my friends talking, but they're in a D&D session right now, and one of my characters was supposed to cameo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, you guys, uh... <laughs> talking about anything? <laughs> okay. what, what did I miss? Right, and steal Brave as his channels. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Now you have to tell us about it? Alright, so... <laughs> One of my friends is running a D&D &D campaign. I will cross over to the stream and return sometime. <laughs> Let's just say a rabbit was like, oh, that's true. That's in perfect character. <laughs> that's perfectly in character for her. She is supposed to be late all the time. But, uh, I'm in a group of people who play a lot of D&D and, uh, I was supposed to appear in a session on my birthday that didn't happen, and I remembered that it's happening this week, uh, and then I forgot that I was supposed to make a cameo appearance as one of my NPCs from a different campaign. He's doing a campaign that's like connected to like the multiverse and stuff, like, it's like a it's, it's crazy. It's just a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't really know how to explain it properly. I'm a bit of a mess right now, if you can't tell. <laughs> I'm pretty flustered. Sounds counterintuitive? Yes. That's <laughs> okay. It's just very possible for people to in his world to get swept away to other worlds and then uh and so i had uh an appearance in a world blah 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 i don't know i don't know how to describe it <laughs> the characters the party in that campaign can be swept away into other worlds very easily and so as a joke they got sw <laughs> swept away into the world from my campaign and then i had to do that just for a second. <laughs> you have such a wonderful flustered laugh. I don't know. <laughs> People always say that. I don't know what that means. Your trend trying to make a DC universe? I guess you can think about it that way if that helps. <laughs> yeah. Yes, actually. Yes. <laughs> Everyone just likes Brave Glass's laugh? Yeah. I. It used to be something that I was very self-conscious about. People used to make fun of me for it, but... <laughs> Ever since I started going online, everyone has always been like, I love your laugh, I love your laugh. And that's very cool. It makes a guy feel pretty good. <laughs> so, shout out to everybody for the, the warm welcomes to the YouTube space. Genuine. <laughs> People make fun of you for anything? True. But this was just like when I was younger. It's not like I was like bullied or anything. It was just like, you laugh like a girl. And then I started trying to like close my mouth every time I laughed because I was self-conscious at it about it at the time. And that led to the like ch-ch-ch-ch kind of laugh. <laughs> and that just became normal and natural to me, so then I just kept laughing like that. The laugh just always seems to like brighten my day a little or something, I don't know. <laughs> you voice that would fit well as a narrator? That's why I'm making YouTube videos, baby. 
I've always wanted to be some kind of radio story host. <laughs> Something like that. This is All Things Considered on NPR. <laughs> Brave Glass Lore number 6172, sad backstory. True. Very sad. Tell us a story? Hmm. Once upon a time, there was a... A high school student from Tokyo that moved to a small town named Inaba. And in that town, everything was awesome, except for the fact that people were dying. The end. <laughs> Where's the other 6,171 stories that I'm missing? Dang, I guess you're just gonna have to watch every stream. I guess you're just gonna have to watch literally every video back to back. Because, you know. Tell us the story of you and one of your exes. Bold of you to assume that I've had even one ex. Or a girlfriend at all. <laughs> Quite bold. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but I'm currently grinding to level 99 in Yukigo's castle. And I am, because someone asked, level 86 with 30,681 experience to go. So, yeah, not doing not doing well on the significant other uh, front. Not really, not really a lot happening there. Your boy gets no action. That's all. <laughs> That's just, just, just. <laughs> you kind of give off the energy of a guy that would be a chick magnet. Whew. Well, that compliment's coming out of nowhere. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Maybe I'll walk with a little more confidence in my step. That's <laughs> okay. I don't know what you mean. If I was a woman, I would be quivering. <laughs> That's not that. <laughs> That's not <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> That's not that. <laughs> That's not Really appreciate it. <laughs> That's not that. That's not <laughs> that really is that's very funny to me. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> you don't I don't know man, I feel like I could ask you for love advice and you'd have the advice that I would need. Maybe. Speaking of girlfriends, I got a girlfriend recently, my best friend for like five years, and I'm extremely happy. Congratulations. Your <laughs> best friend for five years. <laughs> Although you did have to be- <laughs> Wow, that's a long time to wait. <laughs> that's a <shotgun. laughs> I do think that wisdom in how to interact with your fellow humans is different from uh, actual, I don't know, eligibility for dating. <laughs> or is it? No. I don't know. I guess you got a point. I guess you got a point on the that drug. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll take the compliment. Fine, you got me. <laughs> Really twist my arm on that one, huh? <laughs> Only skills I got is how to make others uncomfortable. <laughs> More useful than you would know. More useful than you anticipate. 
pop okay. Yo, do you draw your own art for your videos? If so, they're extremely buzzing. I do. Welcome to the chat room, pop okay, and I do draw uh, all of the assets for my channel. So. Better wait longer than try to rush into it. I've liked it for years, gotta play the waiting game. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool to take your time. But, you never want to wait too long. I'm just glad things worked out for you. Happy for you. Buddy who's super charismatic to women, but likes but plays too much and has always gone too far. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty straight laced when it comes to dealing with any kinds of people for any kinds of reason. I just also have not had a lot of opportunity for social interaction in my lifetime. Let me make sure nobody's DMing me anymore. What is this? Oh, the- <laughs> What? <laughs> it's just a cool 3D animation for a bowling thing. and said she was feeling way better because she was crying the other day. That's cool to do. Oh, wait. What is it? <laughs> what am I reading here? He made a girl laugh and she said she was feeling way better because she was crying early in the day. Told her there was her- Oh, I didn't read that part. Uh, I've just realized that this chat is the first people I've told. I haven't told any of my other friends. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> but whatever. If you have to propose ever, uh, I'm, I can <laughs> say your message out loud. <laughs> I'll do proposals. Just pay me like five bucks to record something. Sure. Probably at least. There's probably at least one person who has hit on me before, but I'm too nihilistic. And I've... <laughs> Nihilists. <laughs> it's a good time, good time, good time. <laughs> Chad, poor Choco friend versus Virgin Glide Girl. <laughs> Brave Glass be the best man? Hmm? Do you use Clip Studio Paint by any chance, and do you also have drawn a tablet? By the way, which Persona or SMT game in the series is your favorite? <laughs> Alright, uh... Yes, I do use Clip Studio Paint. Uh, I used to use Krita for the longest time, but I have I switched over to Clip Studio Paint a long time ago, and I have not gone back. Uh, I love that it is not a license fee thing. Uh, and then, do I draw on a tablet? I was drawing on a tablet until that broke. Now I draw on my laptop, which is a two-in-one, so. <laughs> and as for Persona, it's probably... It's probably four. It's probably four golden. Zone four golden is one of my favorites of all time. One of my favorite like games. But three is also very good. <laughs> if I'm proposing, I'm just going to go up to them and be like, "Look, you want to marry me or not?" <laughs> she better like you, man. <laughs> 
Bravo, that's gonna be the best gamer at your wedding. <laughs> he wouldn't be the first best gamer. That's true. That's the chaka. Gonna be that one friend who brings three chicks, each for his homies, while he goes to celebrate by himself playing some video games. I don't got chicks. <laughs> I barely have friends. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't have a lot of people around me. <laughs> I kinda live in the middle of nowhere. Not really, uh... I am just a nerd. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just a nerd. I would say I'm just a nerd. Listen, guys. I know... I'm glad you guys see the diamond in the rough here, but you gotta understand, it is rough. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are like, oh, this guy's voice is great, his personality is really funny, he's super eligible. I'm glad you guys see the diamond in the rough, but you have to understand, there is a lot of rough. <laughs> I am grinding the level 99 in Persona 4 Golden, the first dungeon of Persona 4 Golden, I've played Dungeons and Dragons. I'm just making a character now that is a that is a a monk of the way of the long death. Hello? This is the stupid this is the most nerdy thing in the world. I'm it's it's rough. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, it's... <laughs> Now perhaps you man and wife, you can now fight her 1v1 in any video game you're choosing. <laughs> I was about talking about poor Joko, but you can be a nerd too. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you should grind for some girls. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for clarifying. We don't call women that here. <laughs> Unless they're anime women, in which case, fair game. Except for slurs, you can't say slurs. Yes. <laughs> Brave Blast making some 40 chess characters. Literally just a monk of the way of the long death. That's it. Monk, subclass, way of the long death. <laughs> what? He is. It is so cool. He's got a lantern? Okay, I'm. So, <laughs> I'm so embarrassing. I'm so embarrassing. He's got a lantern that he like never lets the flame die out on. That's like his training is to keep doing that. And so he's got this like ghost lantern that and he throws it up and then punches someone a bunch of times in the chest and then catches it. It's it's really cool. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the biggest nerd ever, and I got the GF in my dreams. You can do it too, bro. <laughs> it's like a video game side quest. <laughs> it's like, it is. <laughs> my man's got a side quest. You know what's also cool? Persona 4 is a JoJo's reference. Definitely, I don't find that cool. JoJo's fan. <laughs> I would respectfully disagree. <laughs> Sounds like Devil May Cry stuff. Eggs, absolutely. Yeah. I could see my I could see my monk getting a triple S rank combo or whatever. Or Devil May Cry does platinum stuff, right? They don't do triple S. Or do they? I don't know. I don't know. I've never played Devil May Cry. <laughs> <laughs> triple S? Okay. Cool. I am not gonna read 
I know that YouTube messages are limited to a certain amount of characters, but I'm not reading that paragraph. That's too much information about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> I unironically like video game lore, I'm a huge nerd. Not this song? So many people react to this song like this. I'm ta I'll take it out of the playlist. I'm taking it out of the playlist. <laughs> you guys are right. Not because you're right, but because every time I hear it, it makes me think. <laughs> you guys mention it, and then that makes me think of it. So we're, <laughs> no, we're getting rid of it. No more of this song in the playlist. In return, you can have, uh... Uh... Where's the Myth Legend theme? Here it is. There you go. Racist brave lad. What? Catch I catch I guess. Why does everyone not like this song? Because of um, the one trap remix of it. I think. Catch I guess. That's my best. That's what I've heard the most, and that's what I would think of. There's like a tra there's like a rap remix of it. We're out here hating Plants vs Zombie music. Don't worry, there's more Plants vs Zombie music in the playlist. I'm just tired of that one coming up, and then everyone being like, "This always reminds me of this thing." <laughs> Did I already say that my employers scheduled me for 36 hours next week despite the fact that I only signed up for a 25 to 30 hour week job? Probably already did that. <laughs> I'm very dreading of it. There's a trap remix of almost every single song. Why does that one get singled out? If you heard it, you would know. Yeah, there's slurs in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a meme there's like a rapper that comes on as well it's not just a trap remix there's like a rapper who raps on it he's like where did you go go <laughs> it's, it's i don't know how to explain it bro you need to wrap your arms around some <laughs> comfort in their time to me that is a very wholesome message, but you still are calling. We <laughs> we just established we don't call women that. <laughs> I was myth legend, the one person not taking this stance with us. <laughs> you call me Hedge. All of my friends on Discord just call me Hedge. Cool. Bruh. Bruh. But I can do it, it's funny. <laughs> Myth Legend. As a girl who has been courted, what's the one thing? that girls look for most <laughs> in a guy. <laughs> Is it confidence? I heard it was confidence. <laughs> it wouldn't happen to be if they've reached level 99 in the first dungeon Persona 4 Golden. <laughs> if, is that it? Is that what the one thing that women look most for in a guy? Just for no reason, I'm like asking mainly for a friend of mine, but I would like to know as well, I guess. If it was that, that would be pretty interesting data point. 
not what you would expect. You know? Just throwing random ideas out there, but that's a good try. Hold it, I'm a certified Twitter user. <laughs> Confidence is a decent part of it. Honestly, just be yourself. I wasn't looking for a genuine answer. Boring! <laughs> if you're not a good girl, you won't be happy with yourself. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I think, personally, if I was uh, thinking about what kind of traits I would need to see in a girl, I would definitely mainly wonder if they're subscribed to youtube.com slash braveless, which it is free to do. You can subscribe to youtube.com slash braveless for free. Uh, and you will see, if you do hit the bell, then you, you do obviously see all of his videos and whenever he's streaming, so. If, if a woman has that, then, you know, she passes the first test, I think. It's <laughs> okay. That laugh. Welcome to the chat room, Beals. Lots of new viewers today. Yeah. There's been a lot of... There's been a lot of views. There's been a lot of views that have been coming in for the, uh... I reached level 99, here's why I'm doing it again video. So... Channel is growing, guys. The Brave Fam, strongest army on YouTube. <laughs> 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 Must be because of you? Yeah, you're right. True. I'm subscribed to Brave Glass. What are the next steps? Well, that's the thing. You subscribed to me, and then what happened? What happened, Myth Legend? What happened after you subscribed me? You got a girlfriend. It just works. It just works. I don't know. I, it just works. <laughs> What's my average view count? Uh, like views or like live, like concurrent viewers? Because I actually, I don't think I have either of those statistics. <laughs> Usually I'll get like... Five peak concurrent viewers. <laughs> That's the next step. <laughs> Thank you for confirming right there. <laughs> <laughs> well i subscribed and broke up like the next week do i have to unsubscribe now or what <laughs> i'm sorry to hear that man uh no i think now you just have to like the video and uh comment uh comment uh please give brave glass more wealth hands and then the praying emoji and then you should be able to break the curse i think <laughs> is there still a way to salvage my relationship with her uh uh i wouldn't feel comfortable giving advice in this situation, but I'm sure that it is a noble cause to always seek peace with everyone that you meet. <laughs> Whether that results in uh, continued split paths and walking away, or, uh, or sticking together. 
it is of the utmost important that you do not uh, go to bed angry at another human or whatever. I don't know. That's <laughs> right. Be at peace with everyone you meet. Ravius is both a blessing and a curse, a wild card, if you will. Absolutely. Thank you. How is this challenge run not giving you a case of apathy syndrome yet? Uh, I find it meditative, frankly. And also, I have such a lovely chat room that always keeps me company whenever I'm live. Never a dull day with these guys. I, I, and I mean that. And I mean that genuinely. You guys have been very a very good first audience to stumble upon. Seek peace. No, beat them up. Don't actually do this. Everyone has a myth legend and a brave glass on their shoulder. <laughs> I'm unsubscribing worst relationship advice YouTuber. I'm gonna watch real YouTubers like Jake Paul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, admittedly, that probably, he'll probably tell you, he, he, he knows his way around the ladies more, a little bit more than I do, I'll be honest. <laughs> if there's anybody that understands the secret to a woman's heart, it's probably Jake Paul. I'll keep it real. Like, when I think wisdom on YouTube, I'm definitely thinking Jake Paul. Yeah, so. It's probably best that you guys just get out of here now. I'll admit it. <laughs> really, it's it's kind of unethical for any YouTuber to make content besides Jake Paul, because we're all just, we're all just, like, driving, we're luring people away from his channel, and his channel is where all of the greatest wisdom comes from, so it's like we're starving humanity of that, so. Really, all of us should just delete our channels. In this world, you're either a brave glass or a myth legend. <laughs> Real way to get to a woman's heart is with a knife. Did you? Are you? <laughs> Does your girlfriend know about this side of you? <laughs> Does your significant other know about this side of me? <laughs> because I'm very worried for her safety. <laughs> a knife takes too much physical effort to get someone else to stab them? That's still using a knife though. Kinda like didn't solve the problem. <laughs> She knows, don't worry. Hmm. <laughs> that is the answer that I wanted, but now that I've actually received it, I don't know if I'm more or less worried. <laughs> My dad was in a real tough place and was poor and broke up with his girlfriend. He almost had no more options. Then he subbed a brave glass. That man is Elon Musk. No joke. <laughs> <laughs> we're not just telling stories, we're telling lives. We're saving, we're changing lives. There you go. <laughs> Took a little bit, but we got there. <laughs> Evil Brave Glass be like, I got a girlfriend. True. Don't worry, Brave Glass, I'm not going to stab my girlfriend. Okay. Cool. <laughs> well, I'm glad we've settled that. <laughs> Check out Savage, I can't hear what Streamer Band is saying. <laughs> <laughs> is he only seeing people say I have no girlfriend and am sad and lonely and play a monk with the, the, the way of the long hand? 
Streamer man is crying right now. Well, don't just say lies. <laughs> 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 it's tears of joy because of joke. That's a beautiful story. Yeah, that's true. Man, Brave Fam really is the strongest army on YouTube. Facts. <laughs> Such a... I'm the shooter instead with a nerf gun. Nerf war? That sounds very fun! Streamer man is a hero. Aw, thanks guys. That's <laughs> okay. You can out muscle them. <laughs> I'm sure Brigless is being really mean to me right now. Dude. I was not talking about him at all. <laughs> I got that. I did not. I did not say anything about Xiaomi. Brief. <laughs> okay, he is listening. He is listening. Oh no, he's just reading chat. That's <laughs> not <know> his dream. <laughs> I love Myth Legend. I love her so much. She's so funny. <laughs> Myth Legend, you're really violent today. <laughs> what is up with that? Why are you so violent today? You got a couple good mods here? Well, one of them. One of them isn't even listening to the same. <laughs> but yeah, we do love Shadow Fear RD. He was in the uh, he was in the birthday stream. So uh, if you guys check out the birthday stream, you can hear Shadow Fear RD talk. He art a chicken at one point. I'm sure if he's okay. Hold on. I feel like murdering God himself just for the fun of it. That is... Not a normal impulse. <laughs> That's a suck <laughs> That is not like a regular feeling to have. The chicken is probably a girl, huh? What? It's <laughs> a Pretty wild to think that P4 created the weather forecast, much like now P5 created jazz. Persona 3 invented death. <laughs> Atlas always innovating modern world. So true. I'm the most normal person for this. Then you gotta get weirder, bro. <laughs> if all of us are the weirdos, you gotta get weird. <laughs> Persona 3 created the concept of girlfriends. Well, I feel like now, because there were no romance flags, you just kind of... You just kind of, like, sort of, kind of got romantic with everybody. <laughs> what the heck am I doing? I'm not even looking at the game right now. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, Bravelet. Okay, Myth Legend. If you wanna, if you wanna, okay, Brave Glass me. Okay, Myth Legend. <laughs> That's what I said. Okay, you need to get some women. How about that? Oh, character development. You're finally not. <laughs> You're finally not a misogynist. Awesome. <laughs> More of they just fell in love with you and you just had to deal with it. True. Uh, I say no to human traffic. <laughs> what? What's going on? What's going on? On. <laughs> I love making crazy frog reference. The one crazy frog reference you can make. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? On. Bing, bing. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to try. Human trafficking or what? What are you talking about? Hmm. <laughs> What are you guys even talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm gonna ask you all this question now, alright? Facts on stacks. Facts on stacks. What's the question? I wonder what the question is. I'm waiting for the question. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> See you later, Ruth? Okay. Cool. It's cool to say goodbye to other chatters, but you're hyping up this question? Better be a good question, dude. <laughs> Frankly, this question better be flames. Or I'm removing your shoe privileges. I am revoking your shoe license. You can't have shoes anymore if you if you if this is not a good question. The suspense is killing me. What's the least amount of money someone would need to pay you to one two combo toddler? I have to do I have to like go for it, go for it? Like two good punches on a toddler. And are there any legal repercussions? <laughs> Nine dollars! Nine dollars is really low, right? <laughs> are there any are the so like Yeah, do I have enough legal repercussions? There are legal repercussions? Alright, then I'm I'm not taking well, okay. Um <clears throat> As long as you're not caught, you're good? Okay. Okay, well that's pretty easy to do. People leave their children unattended for... quite often. <laughs> it's just pull up to a public place. Uh, it would need to be enough- I would still be worried about the lawsuit, so it would be need to be enough to cover that. Do the pe do the parents of the child know how much money I'm receiving for this? That's <laughs> that's not. Do I have punched their child twice? That's <laughs> okay. Because if if people find out, like if the court knows, then I can just be sued for that amount, and so it doesn't make any sense. Okay, they don't know. I would still want, like, you need at least three mil for a lot, and pff, you don't need that much. Right?
They've left their child temporarily unattended. <laughs> okay. So I just... I just like... <laughs> pull up with the ski mask, punch some random child twice, and then dip. If I'm just- I feel like that- yeah, that's pretty easy to get away with, you just have to be quick enough. But, if I do get- well, I don't know, because there will be a lot of witnesses, too. So, I don't know, I guess you'd just have to, like, wear a ski mask, and then run up to a child, punch them, and then leave. In which case... I don't know, I feel like... How much damage, how much physical damage could I do to a child, to a toddler? Am I that strong? I feel like I... Hmm. I'm not even sure I could knock out a toddler. I don't know how hard you have to hit someone to knock them out. <laughs> I guess... I've never tried to knock someone out before. Um, not that I'm, like, physically that weak. Children of the future, therefore, we must overthrow them before they overthrow us. True. That head, the head is a pretty strong thing. Yeah. much money what's the least amount of money I'm thinking like in the ten thousands range somewhere in there ten thousand is pretty good probably like yeah like ten thousand ten thousand dollars final answer if I see the money if I see ten thousand dollars that kid is sleeping I promise <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty I'm pretty pricey. I'm pretty pricey. So they better give me their life as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would one two combo a, a toddler in exchange for 100 Sky Wars coins. <laughs> 100 High Pixel Sky Wars coins is my final answer. <laughs> Buy four Magnum double Jokos with that. Wow. It's pretty cool. You could actually also buy, um, I think, like, how many chicken nuggets is that at Burger King? It's like 10 chicken nuggets for a dollar. Or I think it's eight for a dollar fifty now, but still, you could buy a good amount of chicken nuggets from Burger King with that. My friends and I once had a very thorough discussion about the price of chicken nuggets at Burger King and how you it is absolutely unreasonable and absurd. It's actually unethical that you can get. There was a point in time where you could get a thousand chicken nuggets for less than one minimum wage paycheck. <laughs> you get a thousand chicken nuggets for a hundred dollars at one point. Forty-eight chicken nuggets for nine dollars. <laughs> How much money would someone need to pay you for you to start the world? I think to run an underground business. Yeah, that's pretty vague. What kind of business? 
Now where's the child I need to put to sleep? <laughs> so I got, yeah, 48. When you put it in chicken nuggets, it's actually quite a... It's quite reasonable. <laughs> is this Eschatos OST? What is this? Yeah, it is Eschatos. <laughs> That's enough chicken nuggets to get a girlfriend? I'm not sure <laughs> if that's true. Will girls really do anything for chicken nuggets? <laughs> that's how that works. <laughs> Assuming your girlfriend isn't vegetarian. True. An idol business. I don't want to run an idol business for any amount of money. Although, an under- well, okay, an underground idol business, you're just describing human trafficking. How much money would you take to human traffic people? Which, by the way, you're not a slick, man. I can- you're- uh, yeah, welcome to the chat room, Undercover Cop 27. <laughs> okay, welcome to the chat. <laughs> Hello standards in general. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, and that's why you're watching the Brave last stream. Just kidding, we only make high quality content here. And by high quality content, I mean I haven't made a video in months and I've only ever really streamed. And I make pretty decent YouTube shorts, I think, in my opinion. <laughs> standards hang out here <laughs> something like that man all right brave bros and glass <laughs> oh is that? I gotta go since it's like 3 a.m. <laughs> see you later for a gone see you later for a gone have a good have a good rest Hate that. I think I think Brave Bros and Classos is way worse, way worse than Brave Fam. <laughs> Hot take. I think it's worse. <laughs> Have you ever thought about making an animation put on your channel? I really like your art style. Uh, hold on. One second. Where is it? I made this. Uh, which is not an animation, but it is, you know, illustrated. When we see Myth, we're calling him a brave bro. Myth Legend is a girl. Myth Legend is a <laughs> glass. You know what? Never mind. That's <laughs> okay. Never mind. That's <laughs> okay. That's okay. 
Oh, welcome back, Myth Legend. Let's check out shots. A glass what now? Yeah, hey, you can scroll up. You can scroll up to work on Saglom's, uh... Goodbye message. <laughs> glass. <laughs> Don't start saying that. Don't start saying that. <laughs> Don't start calling the... I only have like 1% female audience. You guys can't start calling them that. They'll all leave. <laughs> I need those. <laughs> What's the other 99%? Uh, I believe... What, I think it's like... 95%? Well, hold on. Okay, let's get the actual analytics here. Let me get my, uh studio up I will pull up the analytics audience uh gender is oh bad news guys <laughs> And I don't know, <laughs> and I don't know how it works like this, but I'm sorry, Myth Legend. You no longer exist. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, we lost. <laughs> The statistics were not always like this, but there they are. Rest in peace, female audience. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> and now you guys get it. Now you guys get why I don't have a girlfriend and I'm not a chick magnet. As you guys might might very well think. <laughs> Myth Legend, I told you we can't call them that. <laughs> Don't, don't encourage it. I need <laughs> How long have I been here? I've been here for two hours. I'm putting my time. <laughs> we're going back to the entrance. We're, uh, we're calling it quits for the day. <laughs> uh... Yeah, so we're ending off at uh, level 86 with 19,860 experience to go. Thank you so much to everybody who showed up uh, to the stream. Myth Legend, Board Choco, Pop OK, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, Ultimate Hedgehog was there. Uh, we're getting to the point where it's actually probably going to be unreasonable for me to list every chatter. Uh, or, I already mentioned Board Choco. Furcon Soglon was here, of course. We love that dude. Shadow Fear RD, good friend of mine. Um, and Friday AM was there. A Thunder. Thunder Peak. Best gamer first, of course. The first best gamer of all time. Uh, and then. I hope that was everyone. 
might have been some more people. But, uh... Yeah, otherwise, can't wait to catch the next stream in 10 plus years. <laughs> yeah, I do work in retail, don't I? <laughs> anyway, see you guys later. Uh, if you're a VOD watcher and you made it all the way to the end of the VOD, uh, shout out to you. That is a that is no small feat. And uh, I would very much so appreciate it if you did subscribe. Maybe like the videos. Go around, see if you like anything. And uh, if you show up in chat, just know that you are very much so invited. Be encouraged, and I will see you later. You should make a Discord for this kind of situation. I don't want to moderate a Discord, but that's <laughs> actually anyway. Yeah, we we've, we've talked about that before, and I'll talk about it again later. But yeah, uh, thanks everybody. Be encouraged.